Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how we can switch scenes using Scene Builder. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If I could have just a moment of your time, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Hey all you cool cats, in this video I'm going to show you all how we can switch scenes using Scene Builder. The first thing that we'll need are two FXML files, one for each scene, as well as a scene controller. So let's create two FXML files, go to your application package, right click, go to new, other, new FXML document. I'm going to name this scene one, but feel free to call it whatever you want. And I'll create a second FXML file, right click again, then go to new, other, new FXML document, next, and I will call this scene two, finish. And now we need a controller class, right click again, new, class and I will name this let's say scene controller and that is it and finish now before we move on to filling in the scene controller class let's make sure that we have a few things filled out within our main java file we should have at least these four lines within the start method parent root equals fxml loader blah 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 and then pass in the file name of the scene that you initially want to be displayed I would like scene one to initially be displayed, so I will pass in that file name, scene1.fxml. Scene, scene equals new scene, pass in the root node as an argument, stage.setScene, pass in the scene as an argument, and lastly, stage.show. And that should be good. Let's fill in our scene controller class now. Within our scene controller class, let's declare a few things private stage, stage, private scene, scene. And lastly, private parent root. And be sure to get these imports as well. Make sure you're importing from JavaFX and not any place else. And now we'll create two methods, one named switch to scene one and the other switch to scene two. These will be public void switch to scene one. There is one parameter, action event, and let's say event. Okay, make sure to get this import too. Copy this. Paste it. And rename the second method as switch to scene two. Now there's four lines of code we need within each of these methods. The first line of code is actually this line from our start method. Parent root equals fxml loader, then all that jazz. Let's copy this. Paste it within switch to scene one. Now the second line of code is a little more complex. Oh, then add throws declaration or surround with the try and catch block. Be sure to do that too. All right, the second line of code, stage equals, then within a set of parentheses, we're going to get the source of this event and cast it to a node. So that would be event dot get source. Then we will cast the source to a node. Then at the end, we'll do some method chaining dot get scene dot get window then we need to take all of this and cast it to a stage looks like you'll need an import for node as well so hover your cursor over node and import node from javafx.scene now the second line of code will be scene equals new scene and pass in your root node as an argument and lastly, oh, I guess there's five lines of code. I lied. Stage dot set scene, and we will add our scene. And lastly, stage dot show. And we are good. Now let's copy all this, paste it within switch to scene two, and make a few changes. Add thrills declaration or surround with a try and catch block. Okay, so for this line, parent root equals fxml loader. Make sure that you're getting the resource of scene two and not scene one, because within this method, we're switching to scene two. So we don't want to switch back to scene one, right? All right, and that should be good for our scene controller class. Let's open up scene builder and build some of these scenes. Let's begin with scene one. So I'm going to right click on my fxml file, then open with scene builder. All right, within scene builder, we're working on scene1.fxml. I'm going to delete this anchor pane that was generated for us and create a new one. I will click anchor pane, drag and drop it. 
Let's create a label and a button. For labels and buttons, go to controls, and these are all in alphabetical order. Let's go to label, drag and drop it. I'll change the text to perhaps this is scene one. I'll increase the font size too. So go to font, and let's change this to something large. 50 would be good. And I'll recenter this, and we'll create a button because we'll need a button to switch scenes. I'll change the text. Let's say switch to scene two. And I'll increase the font as well. 20 would be good. And center this. Okay, now we need to add our controller class. So under controller class, you should have the name of your package dot scene controller. And we need to add an event to this button. So click on your button, go to code, on action, switch to scene two. And let's save this. You can go to file, save or save as. And let's open scene two now. File, open, scene two. Okay, let's delete this anchor pane. Same process as before, really. Let's create a label. There it is. For the text, let's change this to, this is scene two. Let's increase the font size. I think last time it was 50. Let's recenter this. We'll create a button, drag and drop it. I'll place it in the center. And the text will be switch to scene one. I think last time the font was 20. Recenter it. Add your controller class. Under controller class, select the name of your package, dot scene controller. Click your button, and then we need to add our action. On action, switch to scene one. Let's save this and close out of everything. Let's make sure that we update and save scene two FXML and scene one FXML because sometimes these don't like to update. All right, then we can run and test everything. We are currently within scene one, and if I were to click this button, we'll switch to scene two. Boom, 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 boom. All right, people, well, that's how to switch scenes using Scene Builder. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how to switch scenes using Scene Builder. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.